Ever wonder if text you're receiving from a guy means he really likes you or he's just being nice? Want to know the patterns of texts he'll send you to let you know his interest is real? I've got eight types of texts you need to be on the lookout for coming up right now. Hey everyone, I'm dating and relationship coach Ryan Patrick. So today we're bouncing back into the texting game to reveal eight types of texts a guy's gonna send you when he's feeling the vibe with you. Now I wanna point out something up front when it comes to a man's interest and in texting. There's just a very clear distinction that I need to make. Some of you are gonna be receiving these texts before you even go out on a date with him. And some of you are gonna be getting these texts after you meet him. So let's talk about that real quick. Now, if you're getting these types of texts prior to meeting him, that's great, that's cool. It just means he's excited to meet you. But just keep in mind, you guys haven't actually met yet. You yourself won't know if you actually like him until you meet him in the flesh. Feel out the vibe and gauge your attraction level towards him. So the same goes with him, okay? He's pumped like you to meet, so just make sure that that happens. Now, for those of you who have met up and are now receiving these eight types of texts after you meet, you guys are in excellent shape and that means your dates are going really well and all you need to do is lean back, let him keep initiating texts with you and initiate dates, etc. You want him to keep putting in the work in the beginning like like we regularly discuss on this channel. And for those of you who haven't subscribed yet and wanna get that extra edge on dating great men and arming yourself with knowledge on male psychology, just go ahead and hit that big red button below and make sure to turn on all notifications so you never miss one of my weekly Monday videos. All right, now that we have context for these types of texts, let's jump into the eight types of things a guy will text when he's really into you. The first type is the check-in text. The check-in text can either be him initiating contact with the what's up, or him referencing something you two have spoken about, like how you are about to take an exam. If he's following up with you to see how that exam went, he's been thinking about you. This is what you want. You want the guy initiating the text conversation, not you trying to revive a dead text thread with him. The only reason the check-in text means he's not interested is if things turn sexually quickly. Then he's probably just looking for sex. The second type is the quick draw text. Now, is this guy consistently getting back to your text within minutes of you sending them, even in the middle of the day? Anytime you see this taking place, especially during his prime work hours, this is an excellent sign that he's interested. On this channel, you'll hear me talk about staying away from wishy-washy guys that are inconsistent. Well, this type of text is the complete opposite of that. When we're thinking about a girl that we like, we don't want to keep her waiting too long to hear from us and give our competition an opportunity to creep in and take over. The third type is the favorable light text. So if you notice a guy fluffing his text with cool things that he's doing or has done, that's good news for you. It means that he cares how you view him and he would prefer to be associated in a positive light in your eyes. The only reason he'd ever want that or take the time to craft that into his text is because he's trying to impress you. Sure, he could be doing that just to try and sleep with you. So make sure you see signs of these other texts we're discussing just to make sure. But uninterested guys won't do this at all. The fourth type is the emoji heavy text. Emojis are interesting because they could be viewed as goofy, especially if they're used in the wrong context. If you notice a steady increase or a consistent use of emojis in his text over time, it's just another sign that he feels comfortable texting and talking with you. Now, not every guy is gonna use emojis in his text or even consider using emojis in any of his texts. So don't let this be a deal breaker for you if you never see emojis in any of his texts. Emojis are just a great way to express ourselves on any given topic. So if he's expressing himself with emoji use, put another check in the win column. The fifth type is the deeper compliment text. Depending on how compliments are delivered, they can be genuine, but they can also be manipulative. The difference is what a man chooses to compliment you on. Is it your bikini shot on Instagram, or is it something deeper? 
if he's highlighting something about your personality that would take him a few interactions with you to get familiar with, mm. the compliment probably took him a little time and consideration to formulate. If the compliment isn't superficial and generic and it makes you feel good, he's trying to show you that he likes you. The sixth type is the quick question text. If you find a guy reaching out to you via text with a question, he's trying to find a reason to talk with you. Now, as long as the guy isn't asking you gross, inappropriate questions, like, what do you think about my here it is, he's probably interested in you. The quick question text usually involves him referencing something that you guys have talked about before. So you know he's not getting you confused with another girl. Oh, you weren't the one that went to Disney World. <laughs> My bad. If you feel like answering his question, go for it. The point here is he's trying to get to know you better. The seventh type is the self-deprecation text. Anytime you see a guy make fun of himself with you, he's showing his vulnerable side to you. Guys do not do this in the company of people they don't like or people that they're not interested in. Not gonna happen. He's probably trying to get you to laugh or giving you an opportunity to also be vulnerable and maybe fess up about something that you've done so he doesn't feel silly about his own hangups. If you feel comfortable with him at this point, share a story about yourself. And if something feels off, it probably is. The eighth type is the last word text. When guys like you, we're pretty much gonna be hanging on your every last word and be thoroughly enjoying the conversation with you. Funny thing is, we tend to be the one that wants to send the last text in the conversation, like good night or talk soon. And we do this because we wanna be certain that the conversation is in fact over. We don't wanna leave to chance that we may have left the conversation early and maybe have left you hanging. So it's a half control thing and half quality assurance thing. We wanna make sure that all of our conversations with you start well and end well when we like you. That's all. Now you'll see the detail-oriented side of us come out when we're around women that we wanna pursue. Just to reiterate what I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you're getting these texts either before or after you meet him. Both are good, but if you're getting these texts after you meet him, then you know his interest didn't suddenly change after he met you and now he's not texting you at all. You see the difference? So, what other types of texts have you received from guys to let you know that he was interested? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're not sure about a text that a guy sent you recently and you wanna know what it means, also put that in the comments as well. I'll do my best to give all you guys a response. Finally, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like below. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll catch you guys next Monday.